hi everyone and welcome in this video we will see how to transfer files from windows machine to luckfox pico max board via ssh okay so here you can see i have connected the luckfox pico pro max board with my system okay and i can ping the ip address of that uh, board just a moment so we will copy the ip address we will open the command prompt and we will try to ping and here you can see we are able to get the ping of that board okay now what we want to do is we want to transfer some files from my windows machine to that board then how can i do that okay so here you can see i have this python periphery master.zip file okay to control the gpio of this board okay so that library is not already installed in this board so i want to install this library and for that i have to transfer this file to this board then how we can do that using SSH. So that thing I'm going to cover in this video. So let's first go to that board. Okay, so let's open the SSH terminal and let's check do we have that file or not. Okay, so we are logging to the terminal of the board and uh, here you can see we have the home folder and inside the home folder we have the Pico folder. Okay, and uh, if we go to the Pico folder, we don't have any files here. Okay, so we want to transfer the file into this Pico folder, then how we can do that. So here is the command to do that. Okay, so if you want to transfer the file, then you have to use this command. And if you want to transfer the folder, then you have to use this command. Okay, so you can copy this command. You can open the new terminal. You can paste that command here. Okay, before that, you have to navigate to the desktop first, where your Python periphery master.zip is located. So CD desktop and then i'm going to paste that command now here you can see scp python periphery master.zip this is the file we want to transfer and we want to transfer the file to this device pico at the rate 172.32.0.70 which is the ip address of my luckfox pico board okay luckfox pico pro max board and i want to transfer this file to this location home and slash pico now i will hit enter it will ask for the password so i will provide the password luckfox okay and it will transfer the file here you can see python periphery master.zip is successfully transferred okay i can go back to my another terminal and i can type ls and here you can see python periphery master.zip is available here now instead of zip file or any file we want to transfer the folder so here you can see I have this folder which I have extracted. Okay, uh, I mean this is the same folder uh, about this uh, library. So we want to transfer the entire folder instead of zip file. So again you have to use this command instead of this command. Okay, so you just have to add hyphen r in this command to transfer the folder. So I'm going to copy this. I am going to the terminal i will paste it here okay we want to transfer this folder available on the desktop to my luckfox pico pro max board so i will hit enter here it will ask for the password again so we will provide the password luckfox and here you will see it will transfer all the files okay from this folder to my luckfox pico board and i can go to my luckfox pico board i can type ls and here you can see python periphery master folder is available i can navigate to that folder and here you can see all the files okay so this is how you have to transfer the files from your windows operating system to any luckfox series board okay this is not limited to just luckfox pico pro max rv1106 okay you can also use the same method to transfer the files in luckfox pico mini b sorry luckfox pico mini b model luckfox pico pro max also luckfox pico ultra w you can use the same method to transfer the file in all of the three model also in another model of the luckfox board you can use the same command okay now in the next video we will see how you can install the transfer file okay or transfer library to your luckfox board okay so let's meet in the next video okay till then take care goodbye and Thank you.